<laughs> Welcome to Real Estate Unleashed. Oh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And if this isn't some scary crap, I don't know what it is. It's scarier on the inside. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hi, Bridget. Hi, oh, Regan. Rogue, I'm Rogue. Hi, Stay Puffed Marshmallow I'm trying man. to stay puffed. I had to turn the fan off. So I'm <laughs> deflating. I'm losing some of the COVID pounds. <laughs> the easy He's way. squishy. I was squishier. Now I'm, yeah, I'm just slimming down. I don't know. This, this is fun. Hey, happy Halloween again. Happy Halloween. Yeah. We want to do a little fun Halloween episode. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It feels weird, like, looking. We have a monitor here, so. Hey. Like, not seeing my own mouth move. It's, it's. I got a tongue, though. That's fun. I you have a tongue. Nice costume. Nice costume. <laughs> well, if nothing else, here's to the uh, gloves on. Here's to the late '80s, early '90s, right? That's right. Hey, you're kicking it old school. Yeah. Nothing uh, wrong with old school. And yeah. maybe this is a, a teaser of what's to come. Yeah, for yeah. For some of our normal upcoming episodes. You know, when we started this, we decided we we're going to be real nerdy, and I think this well, might I'd be the height of it at this point. You know, wave that flag. Wave it. Yeah, I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't think we've crossed quite this far until now. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, we're going to do some cool, fun little stuff. Yeah. A little scary stuff, hey, maybe no, today. Maybe yeah, a little scary things. Scary. Do you have a wisp? Scarier than. Do you have the... a wisp today? <laughs> Sounds like you have a wisp. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to stay out of the flame, so I don't get become a toasted marshmallow, a Ooh. s'more. Ooh, a s'more sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> You put not me when the, you are a marshmallow it's <laughs> you not. put me in the mood for s'mores yeah uh yeah so scary things um this halloween we decided we're gonna do a little special episode here talk about the uh the scarier side of real estate yes if it's, you will uh, we've certainly seen some things yeah 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 some so, things that we cannot unsee right right what's, and right what's, now i'm kind of looking at one of those well, i was gonna say i'm sorry you know if this is that <laughs> image like you know if you were traumatized at, at least you're not a clown yeah I, that's I, where I, I draw the I, line I, I i could not deal with a clown right now you've seen clowns and showings well might as well not talking about, talk about the other agents <laughs> no not talking about other not talking agents. about lenders either okay <sighs> well what's i've seen some stuff mm-hmm um so my really scary story <laughs> was a home in Concord, not too far from here, right? Mm. It's in a, a nicer neighborhood, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, went in. It was a vacant house, but they still had all the furniture. And you go in. First of all, there was an alarm issue to where the mm -hmm. alarm just would not turn off anyway. Uh-oh. Did you set the sirens off? The sirens were going off, and I was like, oh, Lord, please don't have the cops come. But that was fixed. And uh, go in, and there's, like, a baby grand piano in the living room. And next thing you know, I look around, and I see lots of little porcelain dolls. Mm. And dolls that, you know, they're from, like, the Mexico with the little string. string oh, yeah. Little string little dolls, little, mm -hmm. like, clothesline dolls. Yeah. They're everywhere. And there's photos on the wall of... <laughs> Keep a straight face. <laughs> I, I can't. You can hide your face. I can't. Um, there's photos all over the wall of, you know, portraits that are like old school oil portraits or like Olin Mills stuff. Oh, yeah. Olin Mills. Yeah, yeah taking, taking, a, school, taking yeah. a very old school. Back to the 80s. <laughs> um, but anyway, these dolls were literally like dolls everywhere. And it just felt like they were staring at you all throughout the house. And then you go in some rooms where it's the porcelain dolls that have the the, the blinky eyes. Oh, and God. like some of them were like half open, half closed. <laughs> Freaking like the Toy Story one. <laughs> uh. That's a good effect with your eyelashes. Th th there. <laughs> thank you, my eyelashes. I only have eyes for you. <laughs> So anyway, so I walked around downstairs, and it was like just this creepy, super creepy. And then go upstairs in the room, and you just get this feeling of dread. And I don't know why, but it felt like someone had died in this house. It's like mm. super creepy, ghosty vibes. And again, in yeah. every single room, there was these dolls staring into your soul. I was like, I gotta get the out of here. I hightailed it out, locked the door, way. 
creepy. Nice. Super, super creepy. Uh, dead death in a house. Death uh, in a house, which is a not a material fact, fact in North Carolina. No, but if you, check uh, your state, we don't vouch. If you visited a meth lab, mm, that's material that's though. Ma- yeah. <laughs> if you die in a meth lab, uh, the meth lab is still only a material fact. If you yeah. have a cemetery, that's a material fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no haunting. Somebody asked uh, once, you know, if the house is haunted, do they have to disclose it? Uh, well, unfortunately, af- after that you is call Ghostbusters. Subjective. After you call Ghost, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, Slimer, you know, that's that's if it comes around the corner, that's a material fact. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know, <laughs> never dealt with it. I did have like my real estate instructor, uh, he was a um, uh, a former drill sergeant, oh. uh, Marines. Okay, um, if I'm saying any of the terminology I'm uh, wrong, I apologize, but uh, he was a former uh, Marine uh, drill sergeant and he ran the the pre licensing class like that, uh, which is great for efficiency but nerve-wracking when he literally got in your face and oh, I'm screamed, sure screamed at, you. at you yeah but uh he his his story i'm just going to tell it secondhand best i could was uh he went into show a home as an active real estate agent back in the day before he was an instructor full-time and he said he the the house was mostly vacant there's still some random furniture here and there um but it was at night so he's flipping the lights on as he goes goes down the hallway turns on one of the bedroom lights and sees what he thinks is a coffin and he says he is deathly afraid he won't show houses near cemeteries to your point about cemeteries um and he saw what he thought was a coffin so he said he was a newer agent he ran screaming out the front door passed out in the front yard his clients had to come like shake him wake him up and he says i'm so sorry i'm just deathly afraid of coffins and the the, the husband re- leans down and goes, uh, that was a tanning bed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, maybe a tanning bed, a little like a coffin. If, if you're claustrophobic, If oh, you stay yeah. in it too long, it becomes your coffin. But, well, I've seen yeah. some path- people that look like leather, so that would yeah. scare me, too. That would be scarier than a coffin to me. No, but, but my own story, though, like the, 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 the creepiest thing, I don't know if it's scary, but creepiest thing was... In uh, Rockwell, North Carolina, which if you don't know where Rockwell is, um, good for you. <laughs> uh, that's all I can say. I'm I sorry to it. anybody in Rockwell. Yeah, we might have lost some viewers. I don't know. But no, it's uh, Rockwell's a charming little town with a lot of eccentric. Essent- charming. Essent- I can't talk today. It's this costume. It's the wisp. It's, it's too much marshmallow in my mouth. Um, they uh, So this, this house, this is years ago, but gosh, I still have the photo and I'll, I'll add it to the video and post here for everyone else to endure the same thing that I did. Hopefully it doesn't cause the content to get flagged by YouTube. I might have to blur out a section, but uh, went into the detached garage mm-hmm. and, you know, older, I'd say the building, the detached garage was built in the 60s or 70s. And of course, when you open up the garage, you're looking for a light switch. And I'm putting my hand on the wall trying to find the light switch. And I can't find a light switch. So I get out my cell phone light, turn it on to try to find where the light switch is. And then I find it a few more feet down the wall. And I think I showed you this picture. It was this old uh, light switch plate of a man in a trench coat opening up his trench coat. And then the switch was, well, you know. And I had to flip that. And I had to turn Talk it off. Talk about too. turn me on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, um, mm. yeah, that was, that was, that was just one thing. That's in the that house. border's creepy, but in the creepy sort of way. And the same house, which also probably scared me even more, was, um, this was after we got through the detached garage, went back in the house, and I accidentally let the outdoor cat inside the house. Oh. Which, the only thing worse than that is letting the indoor cat, cat outside. Out. Yeah. Uh, which, if, you, if you've been in real estate long enough, you've done that at least. But this Come time, back. the listing note said, don't let the cat inside. Well, the cat, like cats do, you know. I do, know. slide wherever they want. And it darts to the back bedroom, uh, to the primary bedroom. And, of course, I'm looking for the cat, and I'm telling the owners, I'm sorry. Or I'm telling the, the buyers that were with me, I'm sorry, let me find this cat. They didn't want the cat inside. So then I hear the cat meowing underneath the bed. And mm-hmm. It was a king size bed. So what I it's, do? I'm sure it's in the middle of the bed too. Yep. And underneath. I get down on hands and knees to crawl there. And I'm looking for the cat again with my cell phone flashlight. 
And there's the cat, and there are six or seven assault rifles also under the bed. Again, welcome to Rockwell. So, anyhow, I gingerly got the cat out by its scruff <laughs> and took him outside. And let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Probably should have known about the Confederate flag in the other bedroom that yeah. I was in for a treat with that one, but... Yeah. Uh, so not always scary, but sometimes disturbing. Uh, <clears throat> disturbing on multiple levels. Yeah. Um, I know one time in Kannapolis that I was visiting a house that was probably vacant for, I don't know, 20 plus years. Mm. And it's one of those when you, it, it's bad enough to try to open the door to get in. And then when you get in, it's things that are haunted mm -hmm. house material super super creepy and it's one that you go through everything and as you say you have the the basement you have to go down to i mean it's a complete fixer-upper to say the least you know <laughs> <laughs> with the lights flickering and something hgtv wouldn't even touch <laughs> no no you have to go down that dreaded basement again you know you think predator's gonna hop out at any minute and you go through oh it's just so creepy dude and then you have to go out in the backyard. Of course, there's trees, and that your the clients want to walk the property line, and they walk through this freaking forest, and you think somebody's going to jump out at you. I'm like, I can we just please go? I can't, I can't deal. Let's go. I've had more creepy ones like that than yeah. I'd like to say along similar lines. I had one that. Thank God it was a video tour. My clients were out of state. Mm. So I was just filming, you know, the, the properties for them and sending them links to view afterwards. This was before the days of Zoom. Right. So we're, wasn't I wasn't doing it live. But um, I knew I was in for something when the listing agent sent me a, um, a one-page letter, uh, basically a, a, a disclaimer or I don't know what the right term is, but basically saying that, I understood the property might be unsafe and that I didn't hold them liable uh, indemnity clause, I guess you'd call it, for anything that might happen to me while on the property. And I thought, well, the pictures don't look that bad. Well, it was a, it was um, a, a REO, so um, meaning like a foreclosure, a real estate owned property. Uh, so they didn't have any disclosures to it. In North Carolina, you don't have to have property disclosures if you're if it's a, a foreclosure and other types of special conditions. So <laughs> I just I ah, screw it. I'll just go film it. What's the worst can happen? I don't worst. have to worry about my clients. They're not they're not in any they're danger. Not, I'm yeah. just filming for them. Um, it was one of those when you open the door before you even turn a light on, you know why? Because the stench just mold mm. and. Then the stench got worse, though. This was in Cornelius, I believe. As I walked through the house, and I was like, is that a what? dead animal smell? Oh. It was. It was. I got to the kitchen. The entire kitchen ceiling had collapsed from, like, a leak in a bathroom on the second floor. And it was all just, you had sheetrock, soggy sheetrock all over the kitchen. The flooring, it was hardwood floors downstairs. They were ruined from the water damage. And sure enough, I saw a raccoon tail hanging up there. There was the dead animal causing the most of the smell. Have you ever walked into a, a house that squatters have been in? Um, almost. Because almost. It, it's not pleasant. No. Well, walking... No, no. I'm so... I think, yes. they, I think these were homeless people yeah. that were squatting. Um yeah. I had no, one. This was actually the early days of my real estate career. I was shadowing another agent. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Donnie. Hey, Donnie. Hope you're listening. Uh, great mentor. Took me to a house that <laughs> definitely stayed in the memory. Um, and it was uh, like you were talking about a fixer upper. Yeah. And these weren't investors that were buying it with it. He was representing the buyers, but uh, they were just a couple moving into town. And he wanted to check out the house before closing, do a little walkthrough. Yeah. Um, and the home inspector was coming by as well. Uh, I think do like a second check or something of mm -hmm. that nature. And the home inspector called us before we got there. And this mm -hmm. was in Charlotte and says, Hey, um, there's squatters in here. I'm not going in until the cops get here. Nope. And sure enough, by the time we got there, the cops had already cleared the house and the squatters had ran out into the woods. But yeah, 
there were like just mattresses that had been thrown down temporarily mm-hmm. and all that kind of thing. Yeah, so a little, little creepy. And I mean, it breaks your heart though, because in addition to just being like mattresses, there were like, you know, kids' coloring books mm. and smaller mattresses for the kids. So I think that was more like heartbreaking than it was scary. Right. Yeah, not to add a Debbie Downer to the, yeah. to the, to the note. But. I, uh, and on another side too, I, uh, I had was representing the buyers, and uh, they bought an old um, historic house up in Statesville. Oh yeah, I remember. You. And it used to be a a B and B, uh, and so you know, of course, uh, since it's historic, there was some stories about it or whatnot. And um, the girl that was purchasing it, she reached out to like the historic society, mm-hmm. and they sent her all of these. Um, like newspaper clippings from, I mean, like way, way, way back, like 1900s and stuff. So many people have died in that house God. and all this stuff. And she swore, and she still swears, hello, Katie. She still swears that, you know, that, that house is, is haunted and, you know, nobody ever does anything with it, but you know that there's ghosts in there. And I'm like, <laughs> Jeez. that's that's the stuff that dreams are made of. Although we yeah. are local to uh, some really good haunted houses yeah. down here on... Um, Shout out to uh, Concord Historic District if you're down right. on Union Street. They'll take great, you on tour. Great, great decorations, by the way, if you haven't. For every holiday. Every yeah. holiday, um, especially the one on the corner. Um, that one used to be um, owned by a doctor, I believe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. The one that has, Spring like, y- the... Union night thing? Yeah, yeah, down towards that way. Yeah. Um, they have all the, the caskets and the skeletons <laughs> and the old... Um, hearse that used mm-hmm. to be pulled by the horses even have skeleton horses even the decorations are historic yeah literally yeah yeah so highly recommend checking them out if you if you like that sort of thing in your local yeah and you know they i i remember i didn't get to go on it but uh, a group of real estate agents did one of those tours one uh halloween time period do you remember i think it was this time last year there was a realtor that um the house was supposedly haunted i think this was up in salisbury and she actually um, promoted it to as a like an open house <laughs> or um, a broker open house that it was haunted and to like come check out the haunted house. Nice. No, I don't so, remember that. But great that's, marketing. That's good marketing. Great marketing. Yeah, you just don't want the more ghosts than agents to show up. No. Outnumbered. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, another Rockwell one. Oh, oh my! Oh, the best stories come out of Rockwell. Um, There's a reason for not, that. Not creepy, but like, you know, you're talking about old houses mm-hmm. and you're talking about like, you know, just, you know, these, these real old historic homes. A lot of times they'll have dug out cellars, mm-hmm. kind of a basement, but not. And a I root remember, cellar sometimes. A root cellar, called. yeah. And this was definitely one. And this was a house, Rockwell Gold Hill area uh, nearby. And we walked down into that root cellar, dug out cellar, and they have all their canning stuff, which, great probably 20 years old well there was five-year-old canned turkey which i found out later it's apparently fine you can eat five-year-old canned turkey me myself it looked like it looked like human remains in there like (laughs) yeah yeah jeffrey dahmer (laughs) that's gosh yeah after watching that series now like anytime if i see a uh one of those 50 50 gallon drums in the house i'm just done 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 yeah yeah i think i'd rather walk into a meth lab (laughs) than that scene (laughs) and there's lots of scary stuff out there to you know and yeah (sighs) it's it's well that's that's the fun part of real estate is that we collect little stories we do some some we can tell on 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 air some we might not be able to tell or have to change the names to protect the guilty guilty as we said before yeah yeah. (laughs) guilty and the innocent uh well this was fun i'm sure we could i'm sure you're 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 ready to get out of the toasty outfit (laughs) the toasty marshmallow is ready toasty marshmallow yeah uh this was fun though we're well we got some other stuff planned if there's if there's anything that we can, um, you know, uh, any feedback, please let us know. Uh, we got some good ideas for the upcoming holidays, too. Uh, turkey Day and uh, Christmas right around the Are corner. Are you going to show up as a turkey? Uh, I think we could tell stories about turkeys, mm-hmm. other other turkeys in the business. Well, there's lots of turkeys in this mm-hmm. business. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Uh, gobble, gobble. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> On that note... <laughs>
<laughs> all right guys thanks for tuning in we appreciate it leave us a like and please subscribe definitely like and, and uh, we'll see you next time we'll thanks see you next time bye